you can see, we got our tire off. And our tube here. We got a patch the hole. We had to patch the tire and we're about to put it together and then we'll be on our way. The gentleman here in this yard has been kind enough to let us use his yard. All right, I think we're back up and running. Had to repair a flat. Joshua rode over a massive, massive nail. Uh, we're here at White Mud and we're at the home of Terry and his wife and he's just doing the grass. Very nice that these people said, just come into our yard and fix your flat. So we didn't have to go back to town to find a place. We could just do it right here. So that's good. Uh, we're going to be on our road, uh, the road again. Yeah. Probably took half an hour. All right. First swap we've gotten the entire truck. This year? Yeah. So, okay. Very good. It's a pretty major one, so I'm hoping it holds. Well... No, I think keep going, Josh, just a second. It says Elmas here, but uh, just stop there at the corner, 11 South. Now I'm pretty sure we have to keep on going straight. All right, we're at the corner of 44 and 11. 44 will go through White Shell. Very narrow way. We're not going to take that this year. We're going to take a different route, a much safer route, traveling south to Hashville rather than continuing to go to West Hawk. We'll get to Falcon and West Hawk from the number one highway. The 11 will take us there. Going into the window bed. Eleven Here we are at the junction of 11 and number one highway. We've come south of the community of Hashville and we're at the junction here. To my right is Winnipeg. To my left is Falcon Lake. So west to Winnipeg, east to Falcon Lake. This is a dangerous highway because it's the number one, so, but at least it's got a paved shoulder. Falcon Lake, 45. So 
ways to go. very blessed by our neighbor here at the campground at Falcon Lake. He just brought us fresh, right off the barbecue, cheese bread and drumsticks from Nick. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, it's awesome. We're here at the campsite and he's our neighbor. There he is over there. We are now finally at the end of day 13. We've had our supper. We were blessed by Nick who gave us four drumsticks and cheese bread when we first got here and invited us to the camp. Very nice of him. Uh, we got everything locked up and everything in the tent. We are exhausted. We had an exhausting two days. Yeah, the past two days have been two long days. Today, my I went over a nail, totally punctured my back tire and something happened with my brakes. I'm not too sure what happened, but... That was when we were fixing yeah. the tire. Just when I pulled the tire out, one of the brake pads pulled out. Just things weren't going our way today at all. Spicy radish was really good. Yeah, that was the only... Well, that was one of the only good things about today, pretty much. Well, and Nick, who blessed us with yeah. the drumsticks and uh, the cheese bread. Yeah, I, there was more cons than there was pros today so i'm very thankful we got this campsite and we're gonna probably hit the hay here pretty soon it's 8 39 o'clock uh, we just gotta map out a couple things uh, for tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a rest day for the most part yeah uh, we're gonna get in some cycling though i haven't told joshua about it uh, so we're kind of pre-planning uh, some stuff but it won't be a major day for tomorrow 50k tops, I think. I think it's about 35, actually. Yeah. So, we'll take a look on the map and go from there. But this is the end of day 13. Tomorrow is day 14. That's two weeks on the road. Okay, good night.